There is a path to freedom. Its milestones are honesty, cleanliness, sobriety, hard work, and love of the fatherland. But as we proceeded on into the concentration camp, we came across a large barbed wire enclosure. We uh, eliminated most of the German guards who were guarding the camp, although we found out that the commanding officer, an uh, SS officer by the name of Colonel Martin Weiss, and the most of his officers uh, departed the camp about two days before our arrival. Uh, I can see that they did not anticipate our coming. In any event, as we checked the camp, we found about 32,000 people still alive in the camp, but all just skin and bones, extremely emaciated, uh, suffering from typhus, dysentery, and other diseases. And they were dying almost hourly as we arrived there. We found a crematorium stacked with human bodies, naked human bodies, in the process of being burned. We found hundreds of others dead in and around the camp, uh, a total of about 9,000 dead bodies, in various stages of decomposition. My soldiers, many cried, some cursed, and some were silent. We could not comprehend the inhumane treatment that those innocent people had received. In any event, we immediately called for medical assistance, and, with 48, and within 48 hours, two army hospitals arrived and took over the care and feeding of the prisoners. They were mostly men. And you have to understand something about, as I get to the reason why Jack is here, you have to understand the selection system that the Germans practiced in the concentration camps. As people arrived in the camp, Jewish people and others as well, they were selectively separated. Keep it on them. Serge, don't let them get away. Listen to me. I am as sickened by this place as you are, but this is not what we came here to do. This is what we came here to stop.